online. Today in Around the World, we are going to Egypt and we've made our very own human pyramid. Can you do it at home with your family? <laughs> but right now, we are gonna see if we can guess the Bible events that happened around the world in Egypt. Take this quiz with us. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, I'm gonna show you these pictures. Do you wanna sit with us? And you guys can play at home as well. I want you to see if you can guess the events that happened in the Bible. Okay, the first one, you get a peek first. What can you see? Tell everyone at home. We have a baby and a basket. A baby and a basket. What happened? Do you know? So the baby went into the basket and flew on the river. <sighs> Amazing. Do went down the river. Do you think that is? Um... Moses. 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 Oh, you got it on the first <laughs> one. Okay, well done. Let's see if anything else happened in Egypt then. Take a peek. It's a fire and a bush. I don't, I don't know. A fire and a bush? What could that be? Mm. Do you guys know at home? I think the burning bush. The burning bush. And who was that? Moses. Moses again? There's a bit of a pattern here, isn't there? Okay, let's look at the next ones. Oh, um, we have some creepy crawlies on this one. We got Eek. crickets, frogs, and a storm. A hailstorm. Okay. Crickets, frogs, and a hailstorm, and I think that was only like half of what actually happened in Egypt all those years ago. Do you remember? What could this be? Oh, I think this is three out of ten things that happened in Whoa. Egypt. I've never <laughs> seen so many. <laughs> never seen so many. This was God displaying his power in Egypt through the 10 plagues. <gasps> and never guess who was in that story too. Moses. Moses! <laughs> okay. Moses, Moses, Moses. Yeah. Okay, you ready for another one? Here we go. One, two. Okay. Circle on the wave. Circle on a wave. What color is this? It's red. It's red and there's a big wave. Do you think, where, do, where does waves belong? The Red Sea, you cracked it! Well done! And you'll never guess who was in that story as well. Hmm, who do you think? Moses. <laughs> <laughs> it's still Moses. <laughs> so, we've learned our Bible character of the week is... Moses! <laughs> Matt's forgotten already. <laughs> There's one more, and I think this one's blank, so it's all good. We don't need that one. <laughs> so, we've passed our Bible quiz, and it's now time to have a look at Moses traveling, because he was around Egypt a lot. a lot. And when he went through the Red Sea, he went somewhere special. So let's take a look on the map and see where he ended up. Here are seven things you should know about ancient Egypt. Ancient Egyptians lived along the River Nile. This meant they had access to water. They were able to grow crops and also have transport. They preserved their bodies as they believed that they would make their soul live on forever. Treasure was also buried with them. They thought it might help them in the afterlife. Their alphabet was formed hieroglyphics. They had over 700 of them. And by the way, the word hieroglyph means sacred carving. Ancient Egyptians believed in many gods and goddesses. They believed in over 2,000 of them. What is Egypt like today? Well, the capital city is Cairo. It's a very hot and dry place and they speak a beautiful language called Arabic. It's also home to the River Nile, which is the longest river in the world. <laughs> and you might find some snappy crocodiles that live there too. Most Egyptian families would have a pet cat. Meow. Moses was a really important leader. He listened to God, and even though he wasn't very confident, he went up in front of the Pharaoh and asked him 10 times if he would free the Hebrew slaves. These people needed freedom and Moses wanted to be the man to lead them out of Egypt into their promised land. 
But a lot happened during those 10 times, those 10 meetings with Pharaoh. There was 10 plagues. God showed his power to the nation. But there were things like locusts and frogs and giant hailstorms and all kinds of things that hit the nation. And then finally, Pharaoh said, go. You can take the Hebrews and go to the promised land. But the conversation, it went a little bit like this. Can you let my people go? No. Can you please let my people go? No. Can you let my people go this time? Never. Can you please let my people go? No. Can you let my people go now? No. This time. No. Nope. Can you let my people go? Go. We are now going to turn Matthew into a mummy <laughs> and we will see you guys later because that's all we've got time for at Kids Church Online today. But why don't you check out our worship playlist, pick a song or a dance to worship to wherever you are. <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, Click that notification bell and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>